we hear from all hearts. We are praying true. Thanks for love so dear. Y'all don't feel bashful now. You can give them one more great big hand. Are y'all getting tired? Y'all getting tired or something? Shank of the evening. Well, it's not quite the shank. It's a little later than the shank, but not enough to worry about. I want to personally thank the Austin Friends of Traditional Music for inviting me to come out and be the MC tonight. I've enjoyed it tremendously. Um, I got to tell you, I said I'd known about this group for a long time. Several years ago, we came, a bunch of us from Houston came up to, uh, to play in the, uh, in the festival. I guess that must have been about 77, about five years after the group was formed. And, uh, well, the thing is, you see, I got, I got in the uh, finger-picking guitar contest, and I won one of them loaves of bread. I got a confession to make. You was, you was supposed to play two traditional songs. Well, at the time, I only knew one. But I played two anyway, but I wrote the second one. That, 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 well, you know. No. No. No, I'm not using it for a doorstop either. Let me bring up to the stage right now, ladies and gentlemen, Earl Hunt, the president of AFTM. You know this guy. Actually, I don't need to bring him up to the stage. He's already up here. Uh, we told you earlier we had a birthday cake. Now, you can't have a birthday celebration without a birthday cake. There it is over there, there Earl. Is. This is your part of the show. Yeah. Take it away. Yeah, we would like to ask Maggie Cook Polachek to come to the stage. She's one of the founding members of AFTM from 10 years ago to help us blow out the candles. Okay, Maggie's got a story she'd like to tell you. And here she is. They uh, left out an interesting detail in that little article about how the AFTM got started. I'll tell you how it got started. Me and my husband Dave and Dave Allen. Do y'all remember him? Yeah. Whoever remembers Dave Allen, say yay. yay. Okay, we were sitting in Virginia's Cafe. We all had a plate lunch in front of us. Dave Allen says, you know what this town needs? Banjo and fiddle contest. So we started thinking, yeah, you're right. It does need a banjo and fiddle contest. Well, let's start one. So we, start, we decided we would start one. And then we said, well, banjo and fiddle, well, that's too limited. Why not have all the instruments? And then someone said, well, why not have all the singers, too? So that's how it got started. Yeah. Uh, I want a Martin D28 guitar. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday to us. Yeah. Happy birthday, dear. Thank you. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday to us. Yeah. We're going to pass among you as we set up for the next act and everybody get a piece of the AFTM birthday cake. It's good luck. It's a carrot cake, guys. <laughs> All right. That sounds good, thanks. Oh, I gotta tell you one other story about that 1978 festival. John Pollock came up here with me. Some of you know him. Some of you don't. Some of you don't give a darn, but I'm gonna tell you this story anyway. John and I did something called ensemble singing and we'd have won that sucker too. We did a couple of dead mother songs. Uh, but we forgot the words to one of them. 
I have uh, what? Do die. They died. Well, yeah, they did, as a matter of fact. Uh, you, did you enjoy the bluegrass set? All right. Are you just about ready for one of the many mothers of bluegrass Irish music? You can always tell the diehards, they wait for the Irish music. They certainly do. Before I bring St. James Gate up here, I want to bring Tom Mackin up. Is Tom in the audience? Where's Tom? Tom, come on up. I understand you want to make an announcement. You can't make it from back there. You have to make it from up here. Tom Mackin. With all this music, you should have some dancers too. And we have um, a teacher in San Antonio uh, who teaches Irish dancing. He's a world champion. And he'd like to give some classes up here if anyone is interested. Uh, all it takes is maybe four or five people, a couple of adults get together. So I'm going to be back over there. And if anyone is interested, I'd like to get their name and address. Thank you. The Texas Celtic Music Society has its headquarters based in Dallas. Southwest. Texas Southwest. Southwest Celtic Music Association. Southwest Celtic Music Association, I'm sorry. Has its headquarters based in Dallas. It is the headquarters for about five different states in the Southwest. San Antonio has a brand new chapter that is just really getting started and they deserve your support. And this band, I guarantee you, will earn your support in just a very few minutes. They don't really need an introduction. St. James Gate, make them welcome. As long as we're making SCMA announcements, let me tell you about the next thing coming up. We have a band from Brittany called Cornog. They'll be in San Antonio on Monday, November 12th. The concert starts at 8, and we will be the warm-up band at 7.30, and we would love for you to come down and see us again. And guess who has the tickets? So, we also have already scheduled our next concert after this one. It's going to be in January. John Cunningham, from formerly of Silly Wizard, will be down again for the second time, and he is fabulous. He'll be here January 13th, which is a Sunday. It's an afternoon concert. He starts at 3 o'clock. So it's really kind of neat. You guys can drive down, have lunch, walk on the river walk, um, come to the concert, and go home and be back in time so you can sleep before you go to work Monday morning. Isn't that wonderful?
said tonight. There's going to be a booth here about the SCMA tomorrow. Uh, I have t-shirts. I have old copies of Kaylee that I will give away. I have new copies of Kaylee that I will sell. I have memberships that you also may purchase. Um, I have tickets to the Cornog concert. I will also conduct a workshop that shows you how the dancing fits to the music and the music fits to the dancing. From a Kevin Burke fan to tell you that last issue, not the current one, but the former one, has a picture of Kevin Burke in it. There are more Kevin Burke fans out there. They're awake. This is addressed to the sound man. Uh, I will be playing both a penny whistle and a drum on this mic. Does that pose a problem?
Yeah, Leo, can we have some sound from the monitors? Yeah, there's not a bloody thing coming out of that. There they are. Funny. She's big and she's little. I don't know who they were talking about. Uh, maybe it was somebody from Austin who have some interesting people. 
Uh, I'd like to introduce some of the members, of, all of the members of our group here. Uh, on my right, on your left, is Molly Bennett, who plays Baron Whistle. Uh, Sandy Brown uh, is our outstanding uh, on the fiddle and outstanding in her field. We've got Tom McRae here back on guitar tonight, he usually plays Citroen as well. And um, Jim Fox, who just arrived in late from San Antonio and has done a tour of Austin tonight. <laughs> Cliff Moses on the Hammer Dulcimer back here. And uh, we borrowed one from Austin tonight, Mark Bickford. I was with us on Mandolin. Thank you, Mark. And I saw Sean Egan. Good to be with you here tonight in Austin.
Well, we're going to do a ballad called The Black Velvet Band. It's a uh, one with a chorus, so we hope you can sing. Her eyes, they shone like diamonds. You'd think she was queen of the land. With her hair hung over her shoulders, tied up with a black velvet band. There's no reward for singing it at all. You just have to sing it along, and the more you sing it, the drunker you get. That's the way it is. Oh, the better you feel, I see. Okay. It's probably the same thing in some cases. <laughs> Beginning to sound like we're all on the same note. Tuning to 443 is really something else. We're used to 440. It's like changing. When I go over back to Ireland and drive on the wrong side of the road, is that kind of a feeling? Thank you. 
One, two. Anybody home? Please don't try to adjust your ears. The uh, problem in the channel here. We're going to do uh, some numbers that we worked up so the people could do the do the walls of Limerick. It's a it's a dance. And, uh, the names of the individual tunes are. Uh, Let's see, Bordlarga, which is really water for in Gaelic. And uh, if I had Maggie in the wood, now you're invited to sing on if I had Maggie in the wood, because it's kind of fun. If I had Maggie in the wood, I'd do her all the good I could. If I had Maggie in the wood, I'd keep her there till morning. You got that now. Right, let's give it a go. Oh, well, the last one's uh, the race of Mallory. Somebody count. Okay, well, one, two, one. <laughs>
stolen arrangements? I think that, uh, Molly was going to tell you about the maids of Mitchellstown. Mitchellstown is a place in Cork in Ireland. It's known as the home of good cheese. I don't think Sandy Brown knew about that when she fell in love with this too. But in fact, that's what it is. It's good protein.
couple of jigs, farewell to the creeks and fair jennies, and we're going to do a couple of reels now. about tomorrow at the workshop is the relationship between the music and the dance. Most of the music um, that the Irish and Scots do is either ballads or dance music. Three quarters of it is dance music. The type of music, the type of dance determines the type of music. Uh, we just finished playing reels. Uh, reels are the most common. They are fun to do. They come in various forms from to easy, easy to dance to hard to dance as well as hard to play. And next we're gonna do some jigs. The jig is the dance that is unique to Ireland. It's, it's the one most people associate with Ireland. We're gonna do Sonny Brogan's Kerrigan's, which is also known, known as the Cash, and the Dingle Regatta, or the King Cora. The Cash, the Kerrigan, and the King Cora are all the same tune. Trust the Irish. Never ask for directions in Ireland or Austin. Thank you. 
after that we're going to wind it off with a little tune called the, the Minstrel Boy. Well, folks, it's been real. In fact, it's so real, we're going to get you to sing along with us on his last song. Tried and true, patriotic to the very end. This is the menstrual boy. <laughs> 